Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am seriously, oh, I'm gonna be wearing this sweatshirt probably for the next, I don't even know how long. Um, but it's awesome to have a newborn. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I just wanted to do a kind of a uh, quick part two to my labor and delivery story. Just because uh, it was quite a long video and I wanted to add a few minor details in regards to my support system specifically. Um, the support I had uh, from the medical staff as well as family. So let's get into it. So the basic thing that uh, you probably need to know before I even get started is that the Greek system per se has a few, um, so if you see me looking into the side, it's, uh, I got baby girl sitting over here, who's kind of sitting listening to me and wants to eat probably. <laughs> so basically the Greek system um, allows for certain things, which is really awesome, but there are certain things that it just refuses to allow. Bless you. It refuses to allow, and those are the things that I mostly needed, to be honest. So there were a few little minor hiccups, but it all kind of worked out nicely eventually. So yeah. Now, firstly, the things that they do offer and is really awesome uh, is the midwife. So at the clinic where I gave birth, I had the head midwife. Uh, she was like the top of the top in there. Um, she spent pretty much my entire labor with me as well as the delivery. Uh, she showed me how to breathe. She helped me breathe through all the contractions. Um, she helped me out whether it was with the painkiller or in every, every possible aspect um, of preparing me for labor, helping me through labor and preparing me for delivery. She was there with me and at the moment that she wasn't, there was another midwife who I believe was a sort of resident or uh, trainee um, who also was there helping and supporting me. So I basically had two midwives helping me throughout labor and delivery, uh, which was pretty awesome. They were really great with their jobs and I'm really, really grateful for them. Uh, then of course there was my OB who, um, I absolutely adore it. Yeah, he is perfect. He was just, I can't even express. Uh, he was there for about the last couple of hours of my labor and of course the delivery. Um, as he did also have uh, another couple of patients in the same hospital where I gave birth. So it just kind of worked out that way, I suppose. He came to check up on them and then just stayed with me. Uh, and he was pretty awesome. He was constantly reassuring me. He was constantly helping me and just generally telling me things that I probably needed to hear at that moment. Um, and just kind of helping me through the whole process, explaining how I needed to push, explaining everything that we were doing basically. So from a medical aspect, my support system was awesome, including of course the nurses. I don't want to forget the nurses uh, who were coming and going and just chatting with me and kind of trying to take my mind off the whole thing sometimes because you do actually need that from time to time. Uh, so yeah, so the medical part, which is like what they offer you, was awesome. Now there's also the part where they don't allow family into the labor and delivery area. So basically their policy is that no family are allowed due to germs and all this kind of strict, uh, I don't know, sterile environment kind of thing. So they were not allowing my husband to be with me during labor and delivery, basically, even though they were telling me that they would call them in the last minute, and stuff like that. So I started getting very, very stressed because I kept asking for him. They would allow him in for five minutes and then just kind of tell him to go out because they had to do one thing or other. And I started getting really, really stressed and my blood pressure started going up a bit. My heart was like, my heart rate was going up. Just things on the monitors were kind of going up and down every time he would leave to the point where they realized finally that uh, I specifically needed my husband to be there and I, there was no way I was going to go through this whole process without him being there. I was just going to hyperventilate and that's it. <laughs> so yeah, so basically after everyone saw this, the nurses did tell my husband that this and this is going on. So yes, you can be inside. Um, and that this was a special circumstance and that they don't usually do this thing. They wanted to like emphasize that. So 
my husband was there with me. He was the best part out of the whole support system. He was right there. I crushed his fingers. He was just, he told me, he would tell me that I could do this and he was reassuring me and he was comforting me. And when I was like in, in the complete utter pain where I just couldn't think, all I needed to do was look at him and just know that I know what, what I was doing. I knew why I was doing this, our baby and yeah. So the support system is quite interesting here in Greece. They do offer you those things and then they don't let family in. This actually annoyed my mother quite a bit. She would try and come in and they would kick her out literally. Um, it was a bit of stress there, a bit of coming and going. But I was glad to at least have my husband with me. Um, my doctor wasn't too happy about it to begin with. But of course, uh, seeing that uh, I was having issues and I didn't have him with me, it was natural that they let him in. And just a final, like, a general thought on the topic. I do find it very weird and actually quite bad to not allow family in the room with a girl who's having a baby because it's such a difficult process. It's, it's so draining and emotional and, and exhausting and it's just so many things and you need so much strength both emotionally and physically, that just being with, I mean, okay, you know you're OB, but just being with people that are just medical, like, you've just met that day, and you need someone who you know, you need someone close to you, with you at that moment. You can't just do it on your own. Um, of course, there are women who do it on their own because they have no choice, but I find it really sad when you do have that option and you do have people who want to be with you and help you, they don't allow. So yeah, anyway, that is my little two piece and my quick little video for this week. Uh, hopefully I will be able to film a one week uh, postpartum, one week baby update next week for you guys. Um, and I might just like take it one month at a time doing updates and just do general other videos throughout the uh, month. Uh, what's up, Bubba? <laughs> my little girl. And yeah, so we'll see how it goes. With the newborn, it's my schedule's kind of been off. Like, oh my god, today is um, Friday. Friday? Yeah, it's Friday. And this video is probably going to go up on a Saturday. But yeah, I have kind of resigned myself to that, that my schedule will be all over the place, depending on how this little miss sits quietly because she's being a dad. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's tiring. And at the same time, it's awesome having her though. So we at it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!